All right, guys, so welcome back to The Hunter Primal. We are back in Primal Eden, and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who showed love on the previous video. It's clear you guys want to see more, and you want to see me suffer. So that's what we're doing today. Now, in the previous episode, I did say, if anyone knows of a way to create a save file for the game, or basically get the game to save, then I would be forever grateful. And I can't believe how many people actually reached out with a solution. So I want to say it here and now, Thank you to everybody that did. Although a lot of them didn't work and they caused my game to crash, I do want to say thank you because up until an hour ago, I think I found a fix. But, whoa. Oh, there's something above us. Alright, we've got to do this quick. I think I found a fix, but today, this is mainly, this episode is mainly for the Jurassic Park fans, specifically the Lost World. If you guys have seen that movie, I've got to be really quick. Something's coming in. I hope it's a trike. Nope, that is over there, and I think that is a T-Rex. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me go down. If you've seen The Lost World, you'll know of a character called Roland. And he's basically the head hunter for the expedition that is on the island. Now, I remember two things about Roland. One, what he's wearing, it really looks out of place. And two, his rifle that he has. It looks like this. Now, because I've messed with the game files, I've got access to like three or four weapons that I've never seen before, which is a bit of a spoiler, but even so, there was really no way around it unless I kept wanting to restart, but I mean, I couldn't resist. I want to play Roland, so that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going T-Rex hunting with this rifle. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a 700. So I think this should be plenty to drop it. Now, what we're going to try and do is reenact the scene from the lost world i did see that compound back there so i was actually heading that way in fact yeah let's see if we got anything in the crates i want to reenact the scene from the lost world and i guess this really isn't spoilers if you haven't seen it by now as i always say you probably never will but there may be someone out there so again i'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't seen the lost world something happens in there with a t-rex or roland's i guess goal of being there not to the exact same specifics but we're going to try and be roland today I've just realized something. I can't really show you guys what I've got in my inventory because it's going to be massive spoilers for what we're trying to unlock. I guess what I should say is, do you guys want me just to play around with different loadouts? Or would you want me to try and do the grind from where we left off? So basically giving myself the weapons that I had on roughly the same level, as low as I can possibly get it, and then just work my way up from there. What would you guys like to see? Specific loadouts for different episodes or... Would you like to see the grind, I guess? That's what I should ask for you guys in the comments. All right, so again, I can't really show you all. I guess I could show you all the top half. Okay, so we've got the 700 double rifle. We've just picked up the 308 rifle, which was in a crate back there. We got some more basic arrows and some buckshot. I mean, we'll take it, but I'm not going to be using that. Just going to try and get rid of all these crates around here. Also, I should say that there are things on the map. I don't know if this is spoilers, but... I mean, this is because of the actual game file that I'm using. There's stuff that's been discovered, and I'm really interested in finding out what they are. Because they look cool. Like, I'm guessing these are campsites. That's possibly some kind of, like, personnel tower from, you know, the guards or something. Wait, is there somebody else in the game? How do I talk? Okay, so it turns out there are actually people in my game, but I can't talk to them for some reason because the keybind isn't working. I've changed the key, but nothing's happening. And I've just heard something at the top of this. Oh, <gasps> Triceratops. All right, I mean, we're playing the part of Roland who takes down the Rexes, but I mean, he probably wouldn't pass it the chance of getting a Triceratops. All right, let's see. Is it the same as Call of the Wild? Let's hold the breath. That would have been a, a good hit. Oh, God, he's coming. Go down, Triceratops. There we go. Let's break out the hunter, mate. Look at him. All upside down. Oh, yeah. You don't mess with the 700. So where did we hit it? Money earned 1787. So trikes are actually good if we have something to drop them with. So, I mean, I did try it with the shotguns last time, but I didn't get anything. Two hits. 297 XP. Wait, look at the weight of these things. If you're not sure how to use kilograms, I can tell you guys, that is heavy as hell. Score 1,191. 100% integrity. 
Body, left lung, right lung, skull and heart. We got it all. Okay, so let's just resume game. I'm not really too worried about... Is it going to disappear? I'm not really too worried about taking a trophy shot with it. Do you know what? I want to look at the other gun as well. This one. Oh, it's like the weapon we used to, uh, to go after the werewolves. That's actually really cool looking. I think it is actually the exact same model. But obviously, we're using it for dinosaurs. All right, let's switch back to this one. I wonder what kind of power that can put down, because that's a 308 round, right? Yeah, 308. You can see in the bottom right corner there. Okay, so I've just checked my map, and we're heading over to this side, to the west side. I think this is where we ended up in the previous episode. So this possibly could be those bunker systems that we found, but even if it is, we're just going to keep heading north from there and hopefully come across a wreck, because I don't know where they are. But then I just checked this. Look at the south side of the map. More people have joined. <laughs> And they're all banding together. I hope they're helping each other. That'd be really cool. But again, I have no idea where I'm going. Like, I don't know where to find the Rexes. Don't know where to find the Raptors. I find Triceratops everywhere. So we're good with that. But T-Rex is what we're after today. You see, the more that I find out about Primal, the more that it really upsets me that they just abandoned it. Because it could have been such a great game. Even if, and I know this might not be a popular decision. Let me see the size of this guy. Oh, this lady, 7,320 to 7,920. I really want to see the points difference, but I don't want to be popping shots and scare anything in the area. One down there, too. But even if they were to make the Hunter Primal 2 with that Apex engine that Call of the Wild has, I can almost guarantee everybody watching this video right now would either like to see that or would be down to play it. So it's not like they would be missing out on anything. Oh, the mushrooms. This is something that you guys have said as well. Apparently, there's certain mushrooms that you can eat. I think that's a triceratops. There's certain mushrooms that you can eat, and there's certain ones that you can't. But apparently, it's a gamble or something to eat one. And I am a little bit down on health, so you know, let's just do it. Let's go. I didn't actually see what it did. <laughs> All right, I mean, I'm not dead. Let's keep going. There we go. I was just heading in the same direction, and we've come across one. T-Rex female. Okay, so for those that don't know, I guess this is kind of a spoiler if you haven't seen The Lost World yet, but I think Roland says he wants to hunt a Rex, and he wanted it to be a book, a male. And I think that's the prize that he gets in the end. I could be mistaken. It's been a while since I've seen it, but... Oh, here we go. Make no mistake, guys. This is still nerve-wracking. Like, I'm, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> I've got to be really careful with this. I've got the big old 700, though. Hopefully this is enough. I mean, it took two to take a trike down. If we die here, then it's totally my fault. I want to keep some distance. I am so nervous now. I thought I'd just be going in there. Super confident. Nope. This thing is massive. All right, let's go for a heart shot. One hit. Two. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, please go down, Rex. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, God. No, I hate that. <laughs> Please. Oh my god. Okay, maybe the 700 isn't perfect for the Rex. There's probably a reason why the 50 cal is in there. Oh, please. Where's your heart, Rex? Oh no. I'm reloading. Oh, oh please go down. Please go down. That's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, she deserved the meal. She destroyed us. <laughs> okay, so we're back. And this time, I'm going to try to not get absolutely annihilated, which is what basically just happened. I don't even think we caused a scratch to that female Rex, and she was toying with us. There was one point where she just stopped, and I thought maybe she was showing signs of going down, but I really doubt it. I think the best bet is going to be 
to use the hollowed out base of those trees like we did in the previous episode. Just so we've got a little bit of cover. And just try and do as much damage as possible. I mean, I don't even know what vitals that I was hitting with those shots. I very well could have done like a, you know, a double lung. But, I mean, it didn't slow that Rex down. And I definitely didn't hit the heart. So we're just going to keep looking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are you? Oh, it's a rat. <laughs> okay, what? That is the most random thing in this game. Why is it just a... Oh, I mean, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe is, is there like other stuff like this? <laughs> just a nail. I mean, at least I kill one thing with the 700. <laughs> I don't know what I've just heard. But I could have raptors around. And this thing fires two shots and then I've got to reload. If there's a big group, <laughs> it could be me getting wiped out again. But I've just noticed something as well. I was just checking the map because there seems to be some kind of installation or something here. I don't think any names pop up for these places. So finding my way to locations is going to be quite difficult because there's no reference of name that I can use. So maybe I might need to use a map or something. I don't want to do that and then have areas spoiled because usually when you do that in games, it reveals the entire... Oh my god. It reveals the entire map. So you get to see anything that might be hidden with our map looking like this, you know? So I think I'm just going to stay with what we've got for now. But if you guys think it's worth using a map, let me know. Okay, so I found the Utahs that I think were in this area. That's a male over there. That one's got a red face as well, like in the previous episode. I think that's an uncommon. 360 to 400 kilograms. What are you? You're going to get a spot? Might be too far away to actually spot. Oh, no, there we go. 430 to 470. Male. I'm kind of tempted to go for those guys. While there's no Rexes in the area, you know, I may as well just use the opportunity to kind of test a couple of the weapons. So when we do unlock them, or depending on what you guys say, if you just want to do the loadouts thing. Oh, there's a trike there as well. I would love to see the trikes or the dinos interact with each other. It's another thing that I say about Call of the Wild. Like, if there's any way that they can get the wildlife to do their own thing, you know, dependent on what the species is, it would be so sick to see, like, them interact with each other. It would just create so many cool moments. Is it coming? Oh, I like that noise. You guys hear that? Wait, cocked it back? Where is it? Should be right here it is. Stop that, you stupid Utah. Okay, that should be a good hit. That was right through that lung as well. No, don't do it. Oh, it's not down yet. Wait, it's not actually drop. Oh, wait, there you go. Okay, it's dropped it. Body, right lung, and okay, we hit the shoulder blade. 50% integrity. Okay, maybe it was. I don't really know how the integrity works in this game with the rifles. Go down. There is no way you're surviving that. That's a 700. What is that guy doing? Oh my god, spray. <laughs> spray quick. Still chasing? Oh, that was a miss. No. No. Okay, we gotta get health. <laughs> Almost another death. Okay, that is really cool looking though. Really cool looking. Utah Raptor male, 700 earned, 135 XP. Weight was 383.2 kilograms, score of 527. 100% integrity with the 700. We hit the body, the spine. Oh, we hit straight through the spine by the looks of it. So I went over the head and hit it straight down at that angle. 100% integrity though. No wonder like the, <laughs> the Rex didn't go down. It is so weak for something that big. So I'm way, way overestimating the power of this rifle. Maybe just for the sake of trying to complete the Roland thing. I mean, I'm going to try and do it anyway, but maybe I'm well out of my depth with the 700 for a Rex. If anybody's played this before and you heard the speech that I gave at the beginning about wanting to be Roland, you were probably just laughing behind the screen. I'd be attempting this because it's so weak. I wonder what this thing's used for then because Again, I don't know how many rounds I'm panicking so hard when the dinosaurs are running towards me like that So I really don't keep track 
of how much ammunition I'm using. But this thing barely put a scratch on the Utahs, and that's a 308 round. So it's the 700 for the Utahs, it seems. 308 does nothing. So what would this be used for? Maybe the Velociraptors? So that tells me then that you genuinely need the 50 cal to really drop the Rexes. Which is terrifying. Because you don't get the 50 cal until like, I think it's like level 50 or something. Which, I mean, it goes hand in hand. It would be cool to do the grind like that. You've always got that fear of not just the Utahs and Velociraptors and stuff, but the Rex. Like, if they're around, you know you've not got anything that can take them down unless you're level 50, but that's just insane to me. I, I mean, I'm taking a guess here at saying that. It could be something else that drops it, but maybe the 700 can. But based off how many rounds I pumped into that female Rex before, she just, she just kept on going. Okay, so I've just checked out both of these Triceratops, and this guy is the bigger one. And I've got a little bit of an itchy trigger finger because it's been a while since I've seen a T-Rex, so I may go for this. Maybe just pump two into the side of it there, like one, and then... Oh, that was on the leg! No, no, go, 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 go! Is that not good enough, just one shot? That should have gone through the lung. There we go. Okay, that was quite a nice shot. We got it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think we did hold integrity with this thing. Look at it rolling down the hill. I think we did hold integrity with the 700 on the trikes. Earlier on. It's that noise that always confuses me thinking it's a Rex. And it was. It did hold integrity. It was 9,140. The score was 1,128. 1600 credits earned 296 so the trikes are a good way of farming xp and stuff and credits body right lung left lung we'll take it there was a crate around here too right let's go back this way not sure what that noise is behind me kind of want to find out but i have no cover to hide in a tree oh i knew i heard something that's a rex that's 100 percent a rex there's that gargle I'm getting familiar with it now. All right, we got it. We got to think like Roland. Oh, there they are. Okay, is that a Velociraptor? Or is that just a baby Utah? Come on, spot it quick. I don't like being in these. Well, I know there's a Rex around. Okay, it is a Velociraptor. Okay. It did it again. I just moved for one second. I turned around. And it latched on my face. All right. What do we get? Zero integrity. But I mean, I took it down. We'll take it. Oh, God. Is it friends coming in? Oh, I can't even see them. Oh, no. I'm out of ammunition. Gotta go. Just gotta go. Mm. 700 to the face. Okay, that's three Velociraptors down. Is there any more? It's sneaking up on me again. Look at it. Okay, so I have no idea where the Rex has gone. I really don't. I've been around this whole entire area looking for tracks and there's nothing. And you all heard that. It definitely wasn't the Triceratops that was originally making that noise. Unless the tracks can disappear. I've got something in the trees over there too. I've definitely just saw movement up in those trees. Probably a Utah or so. Oh, wait. Do I see that over there? Yep, I see it. I don't know if you can quite make that out. It's like the claw of the Utah. You see it? It looks like it's eating something. Just behind the bush. But this guy here actually weighs quite a lot. I think this is the biggest one we've seen so far. You'll see it pop up in the right top right corner now. 10,780 to 11,380. So, I think it's worth going for. I wonder if we can get across to that too. Looks like there's a sandbank there. Get across to that small island. All right, here we go. Let's switch to the 700. And I'm going to try and pop one right there. All right, that's two shots. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
Oh, they get stuck on the rock. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, did you see the impact on the back of the leg? Is he going to go down? That's another hit. That's another hit. You should be going down. Don't go towards the raptors. They're actually coming out of the tree line too. Crap. I think they're coming to investigate. Or well, one of them is. Look at him. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Not like this! No, no you don't! Go down! I had no idea you were that close. Right, let me claim you first then. Raptor 864. <laughs> my heart is beating so fast. <laughs> the actual noise of the ocean masked it running in. 1800. 375 XP. And look, you can see the spots where we actually hit it. That first one was a lung. So left lung, right lung, hip bone, intestine, and skull. 1,200. I think we've got a higher score than that. 10,851. I don't know if the original one that we hit, the first one, was heavier. I can't remember. 100% integrity, though. We'll take it. Oh, shit. I didn't see that guy there. <laughs> that was cool. Seems like the 700 is literally perfect for the Utahs then. Which I'm not complaining about because these guys... Oh, look how cool that one looks. The blue eye? Where's this other one? Oh, whoa, wait a second. Why are you looking so much bigger than the other raptors that I've seen? Stay still, let me get a spot. Female, 540 to 580. You are huge. Well, a lot bigger, at least, than the other ones that we've seen. Oh, God. No, no, no. Okay, I've got a couple of them running at me now. Oh, this is so bad. Go down, Raptor. No, 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 no. Switch. Got to heal up. Get a little bit of space. Oh, please go down. Please go down. It went down. I can't tell you guys how weird that makes you feel. Like when the aim, because the aim really is super wonky in the game. And the dinos do this thing where they pause. So they don't go, like they don't react how you expect them to. We got them though. Even if this one is vibrating. I mean, we'll take it. All right. Oh, I've missed a load of stuff back there. I have to go. <gasps> Another one. Stay still. Okay, that's a pack. That's an entire pack down. Right, let's claim it. 750, 168, 500. No integrity on that one. Where did we hit it then? Right hind leg, left hind leg, and hip bone. Is it because we put like two shots into it or something? Is that why we lost the integrity with it? I want to know what this one was. Okay, I got integrity on this one then. Body and right lung. Okay, that was probably just a single shot then. 858 credits, 196 in XP. Was this the big one? Look at that, look at that blue eye. 1,030, 240 XP, 574. So there's a female as well. Okay, so we've got to keep our eyes out for the size of these raptors then. I'm looking for like a secondary because I've run out of ammunition for the shotgun now. And I haven't found any more. This is a big case though. What we got? We got some 308 rounds. Okay, there we go. 308 marksman. Let me get rid of you. So if I put you on this one. I don't think I can take anything else. The marksman's sight and 308 rounds. Okay, I think we have actually seen that before, but it's actually cool that we've got a scope on one of them now. So I'm heading over to another crate and over to the right hand side, there's like a little peninsula that I'm going to take a look at too to see if there's any more facilities. That noise that we've just heard while I was talking, I think it's supposed to be the raptors communicating. It's so weird. It's like dogs. Barking in the distance, and every time I hear that noise, the raptors are around. Okay, we got more buckshot. That should have been a good hit. I'm going to switch to the 700 just in case, because there's a group of them over on the right. Go down, go down, go down. I'm going to have to hit it again. Yeah, it's going to start taking chunks. No, don't do this. Go down. The rest of them going to come in. thought I lost them. I was just about to tell you guys that I thought I managed to get around them. 
You can see it. They're all coming. Three of them. There was more back there, so hopefully I've just... Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, I've just double fired. Go down. Come on. Come on. Come in. Here it comes. Look at the speed that they move at. Stop. Just stop. For a second. No, go down. Go see where the other one went. There was definitely three. You know what this game reminds me of? Actually, quite a lot. More so than Call of the Wild, or even when I played Classic going after the werewolves. Just this, like this, being scared of what's coming in. Bigfoot. It's the best comparison that I can make, especially with, like, the gunplay and stuff. Is it just waiting down there? Oh, there you are. You gonna run away? Professional Utah Hunter. I mean, we'll take it. I mean, I've just got that achievement up here. I don't think you guys can see it. 520 kilograms. 642, 100%. 900 credits and 240 XP. It does seem like this game has a very, very slow grind of XP. Again, I don't know if this one with the red head that you can see over to the left is an uncommon one. I think it said that. And I don't know why my game's not actually shown in the lower left corner what it is I'm claiming. I'm, I might have pressed the button, guys. Like, in between me testing the game files and stuff, I might have pressed something that got rid of it. This is definitely defenses for keeping something big out, like a T-Rex. That's what I was trying to get at in that previous episode. All right, what we got? Anything good? Some clothes, we don't need it. I'll take the health canister. I almost forgot about this, but again, thanks to you guys, I now know that you can press on these things, the abandoned ones are the ones that are left lying around, and you can read stuff from them. And this one says, Unknown, log entry one. Out of the great egg came the greatest beast. Bigger than Chop Chop. I have no idea who Chop Chop is. It walked with thunder. It ate the clouds. Is it some kind of like old legend or something? Or is it actually talking about a massive dinosaur? I have no idea. This is cool though. I love stuff like this, but you can piece it together. Look, when you look at it, it doesn't actually say it. That's why I think I missed it in the last one. But I'm definitely going to find these now and read what the entries are in them. So something is bigger than Chop Chop. <laughs> no idea what Chop Chop is. Guess we're going to find out. But I think, guys, this is where we should end it. I failed as Roland. I failed, okay? I wanted to take down a T-Rex, and the more that I think about it, we're just going to get destroyed. If the situation isn't perfect, where I can hide in the base of a tree and just take shots at this thing all day, I don't think it's going to go down. But I'm determined to get another Rex. Now, remember, if you do want to see... The grind all the way up through the levels and stuff and going through the weapons let me know in the comments below or if you would rather see custom loadouts of me basically putting a level in and different weapons in each time we play and kind of going around and you know playing with different weapons and stuff let me know that instead would you like to see the custom loadouts or would you like to see the grind let me know below for now we're going to end so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and i'll see you all in the next one